actually met someone who is in freaking Bridgerton on tea. This entire stack of books. Oops. Welcome back to a new video. So this video is going to be all about a massive England haul, as well as my vlog for London. But before we continue with the vlog and the haul, I want to talk about a few other new books that I recently acquired because this video is in collaboration with Book of the Month. If you don't know Book of the Month, they are an amazing US-based subscription service for readers and every single month their team goes through dozens of new releases, picking their most favorite ones so you don't have to like do the research to find all these new releases and just pick a book from their website and it comes in this lovely box with a bookmark. So let's take a look at the May books that you can choose from as well as a lovely discount code because if you use the code BRIT you can get your first hardcover new release for only $9.99. The first book is called Breathless. This is a thriller. The chilling story of a mountaineering expedition gone wrong. Very, very wrong. Make sure you have your oxygen pack ready. Oh my god, this sounds very creepy. Next we have Yerba Buena. Brimming with warmth and humanity. This is a tale of two perfectly imperfect women yearning for something to call home. Next we have the Hacienda. What would you do if the house you just moved into turned out to be haunted? We're talking some properly gothic stuff. The next one is Take My Hand, the moving story of a fiercely protective nurse who will stop at nothing to get justice for the girls in her charge. Then we have a romance called Part of Your World. This charming story of an unlikely small town romance will have you swooning and firmly reassured love can conquer all. And the last one of the May books is called Darling Girl. This fantasy is a Peter Pan retelling, revealing dreams as nightmares. This gripping Peter Pan rewrite reveals a complicated story of fate and fortune. And lastly, I would also like to show you one add-on. Those are other books that you can choose from from their website. And this one is The Book of Night by Holly Black, the very popular one right now. So if you would like to get any of these books, don't forget to use my code BRIT to get your first book for $9.99. Do keep in mind that the book of the month currently only ships to the US. However, the majority of you guys that are watching are from the US, so many of you can enjoy this amazing offer. And it is also completely risk-free. So if you would like to skip a month, that is no problem at all. You will not be charged and you can just start whenever you want again. So I'm incredibly excited about all those books. There will be more books later on in this video. So definitely check out the vlog and the haul at the end of this video. And again, thanks so much Book of the Month for working with me on this part of the video. But now let's continue with my London vlog and England haul. And by the way, if you haven't seen my previous video, it's all about my trip to Bath. I went to Bath first and then to London. So this is video two in my England travel series. Now I'm just going to talk a little bit about London because I didn't vlog too much. I didn't do any like talking bits. So I'm just going to talk like this and then do some b-roll of the footage that I actually filmed in London, which were just clips here and there. But I had an amazing time. Oh my goodness, it felt so good to be back in England and to just be back in London after two and a half years to finally see my family again. And we stayed at their house. They live like half an hour outside of central London. So it was perfect to just go there by train or by underground. And the first day that we arrived, it was Wednesday um, in the evening or like late afternoon early evening we went on a lovely long walk across the south bank which is just our favorite walk so we just went all the way to Tower Bridge walked across Tower Bridge and then just walked all the way back to the London Eye crossed the bridge and then walked to Trafalgar Square to take the underground back home again the weather was amazing it was so sunny it was just so lovely and we just had a lovely long walk so that was just the first afternoon we just wanted to kind of see everything again and then we could just kind of take it slow so then the next day which was our first full day on thursday we just basically went into central london to just do some walking around do some shopping going to waterstone just going to regent street and basically just went to all the big sites in london to just kind of soak it all up again because it was so long since we last visited so we just did some shopping and then in the evening however was very exciting first of all we had some dinner at a pub and then we went to see dear Evan and hence in the musical because my cousin she's actually working in the creative team and I'd never seen it before and like a little bit off topic but very very fun is that when I was still in Bath and my cousin was there as well we were just talking about Bridgerton how much I love the show how I wanted to see all the sites and like all the filming locations in Bath and then she was like
like, you know what? I'm actually working together with Rupert Young in Dear Evan Hansen and Rupert Young plays Jack Featherington in Bridgerton. And she was like, I'm going to like see if he can come out for a little meetup um, before the show. So before the show started, I went over to stage door and then my cousin helped me meet up with Rupert, which was so very fun. He was so incredibly kind and it was so delightful to just chat about Bridgerton for a little bit, take some photos before the show started. So my Bridgerton holiday was very much complete because I actually met someone who is in freaking Bridgerton. Amazing. <laughs> So that was just so incredibly lovely. Then we went to see the show, which was phenomenal. Oh my goodness. Such a good story as well. It's very much about just current day things that many young people are dealing with, like depression or suicidal thoughts, bullying, high school, love. It was just phenomenal. So if you ever have the opportunity to see to see Dear Evan Hansen, please go and see it. It was amazing. And then my cousin, she was actually watching the show as well, just the first half of the show to like write down notes to see if she um, saw some things that she had to talk to, you know, with the cast. And she was sitting in this little box. And then during the interval, she was like, come and check out this little box at the like side of the stage. So that was really fun. So we got to see one of those boxes that you can also, you know, book. Um, but we were just, oh, it was amazing. We had amazing seats as well, right in the middle of the first balcony. So it was a perfect, perfect day. And then the next day, which was our second full day in London, was maybe even more amazing because my other cousin who we were staying with he took us around the city so basically where lots of the you know offices are and you normally don't really go there as a tourist you just basically go to central see all the basic things that you think about of london but he took us around this amazing walk across the city which was just phenomenal because you would think that they are just you know um, lots of offices but then if you just cross a little corner you see this cute street and like this cute park and then you go into this little side street and you see all of these amazing pubs and then we also walked through Shoreditch and you know Lendl Market and it was just an amazing walk and I was so grateful that he got to show us around because I had just the best time the weather again was amazing and I saw so many new things like after over 20 years of going to London, almost yearly, new, I, like I finally saw some new things again, was, which was so incredibly exciting. So that was definitely such an amazing day as well. And we just had two full days in London. We just had lots of good food, lots of beer, went to loads of pubs, and we had a very lovely final dinner. Um, at a pub in Hempstead where we had a lovely fish and chips. I was like, I need to end this trip with a proper fish and chips and it was the best fish and chips I had. I only had two fish and chips during my trip, but still, that was the best one. And it was just amazing. Oh, I felt so happy and so grateful and I just had the best week. And then the day after we went back to the Netherlands, we took a very early train from um, Dover to Calais. We went on the Eurostar, which is this amazing thing where you can just drive your car onto and then it takes you like 30 minutes, not even, to get from England to France. And then we drove back home again. So I think we got back in the Netherlands, or like back home home, at around 3 p.m., which wasn't too bad. It was actually a very quick journey. And in the evening, I went to a friend's birthday party and then it was just back to normal life, which was very sad. But I had just the absolute best holiday. <gasps> I want to go back again. I'm actually going back to England or back to London in July. I'm going to York, Young Adult Literature Con, I think. If you are going as well, let me know in the comments. And if you do like see me there, definitely come up and say hi. I can't wait to meet my fellow booktube friends. And just, I hope to be seeing maybe some viewers as well. I am just so incredibly excited to go back to England um, in July. So this was my little you know, talk about London. And I hope you like these little clips as well. But now I'm going over to the big England hall. Oops. Um, which I filmed on a different day because I had to clean out everything. My entire living room, like my dining room table was just full of stuff that I needed to talk about. And then I could, you know, find a place for it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little clip. And now let's go to the hall. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a quick London and Bath haul because there's quite a bit. But I had just so much fun going shopping and buying some British things. So without further ado, let's just take a look at everything that I got. And 
also received as a gift from my family um, in England. First of all, some things that I bought myself, some tea, because I love British tea. So I got these PG tips as well as the Yorkshire tea. And I've been drinking these from two of my new mugs that I got at Anthropology. First one, this one, I like, honestly, I need Anthropology in the Netherlands. This gorgeous one and it says, um, be present, not stay present, be present. So this one, as well as this mug, positivity please. Oh, amazing. And they're really big and comfortable. So I'm super happy with these anthropology mugs. Then of course I went to Muji as well, bought two pens. This is the 0.7 or like 0.7 and this is a 0.5 pen. I am honestly not a big fan of the 0.38 pen from Muji. I think it's a bit too tiny. So I'm going to be trying out these two which I'm excited about. Then let's talk about a couple of tops. So I went to Uniqlo and I found this one top, just a very basic um, crop top because crop tops are basically all I wear. Just a very basic black one, but it was so comfortable that I decided to get it in like purple, white and brown because they're just the perfect crop tops. And every time I find like one of these pieces of clothing that are just Great, I want them in all colors. So I got four of these colors and then this very, very, very simple black crop top with some cute buttons as well. Um, okay, then we went to the white company and I thought I would treat myself to a beautiful candle. Oh, it is so good. And I'm going to be lighting this candle with the most extra matches I ever found. The sunflower safety matches. Are you kidding me? Of course, I needed to get these very overpriced matches in my life. They're even cute to just display, honestly. Okay, let me see. I bought some more tea because we went to Bath and Bath was basically Bridgerton. And I saw these Lady Whistledown teas. Then I also got some of the original lemonade that you can't get in the Netherlands. And I bought this lemonade to make pims, um, which is like an amazing summery cocktail. And we don't really have lemonade. It's like, it's not 7up. It is not sparkling water. It's like in between, but we don't have that. It's not soda water. We also don't have that in the Netherlands. So I got some lemonade. Then let me see, I got this amazing bottle of Hendrix gin. I've never seen this edition before. It's called the Neptunia edition. Hendrix, as you can tell, is my favorite gin. So I thought, oh my goodness, I need this special edition, limited edition Neptunia. I'm excited to be making a gin tonic with it. Then I also got another scented candle at Muji. This is the elderflower one. Oh, so good. It comes in this really cute tin. And let's see, I got some CeraVe um, beauty products because I've been obsessed with this moisturizing cream. It is so, 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 so good. I also thought I would try this smoothing cream because of my bumpy armed skin and on my legs as well. So I'm excited to try this one out. I also got loads of just postcards because they just have the most fun postcards in England and I'm just obsessed Look <laughs> with all of the postcards and all of the shops like Scribbler and Paper Chase. Um, so got lots of postcards, two Camden Hells and two Camden Pale Ale. This one is very good. I remember drinking this one with my friend Natalie when we were studying in England. And I don't think I've tried this one before, but I just bought a couple of those as well because they're all locally brewed in Camden, which is really fun. Let's see. I of course bought some books as well. I will end with the books, but I also got a few gifts from my family. First of all, these beautiful um, Ford and Mason flapjack, bis flapjack biscuits. If I think of flapjack, Biscuits, I just think of that great British Bake Off uh, moment where this guy was baking flapjacks and then they were like, please tell us about your flapjacks. And he's like, started baking it, had a breakdown, bon appetit. <laughs> so every time I see the word flapjack, that is what I think of. I've already ate half of these because they are delicious. In my little gift basket that I received, my family also put in a mojito M&S lime juice mint flavoring with two measures of white rum a ready to drink mojito which is amazing as well as these beautiful chocolate bombs with marshmallow in there so you just warm up some milk put this chocolate bomb in and then it will like dissolve and melt and then there are little chocolate or like marshmallows in there how brilliant is that as well as some of these lovely uh, mint chocolate bendix they're called bitter mints which is like 
chocolate and then mint in the middle. It's basically like an after eight, but there's even more mint in there. Amazing. They also got me a bottle of wine. Oh my goodness, there's like a lot of alcohol <laughs> in this haul. They also got me this beautiful edition of Vogue with Anya Taylor-Joy on there, who's amazing. Let's see, I also went to Boots and I love that they have soap and glory in England because again, we don't have that in the Netherlands. So I thought I would try out their vitamin C serum. Haven't tried it out yet. I have just done like a little um, test on my face to see if it doesn't irritate my skin, which it doesn't. So I'll be using this one, like incorporating this one in my skincare routine very soon. Then again, I went to Anthropology. Oh, Anthropology is just a fave. And I got this beautiful vanilla and fig scented candle, which is to die for, honestly. And the packaging, look, stunning. Then I got this one to put in my kitchen where you can like put on your dirty spoons and everything when you're cooking and utensils. And it says B. That is such a small thing from anthropology. Just put letters on everything and then everyone will want to get their own letter. Got a few face masks from Simple because I just wanted to do a little self-care evening because we were just away for a week, but we did so much walking that my skin needed a little break. Then I went to Typo, which is such a fun store. And I got this sunflower pen. I mean, look at it. Okay, and then last but not least, this entire stack of books. Oops. The first one was recommended to me by one of my best friends, Natalie. She was like, read this book. It is called Know My Name, written by Chanel Miller. And this is all about her um, being like the survivor of the Stanford sexual assault case. And she tells a story, which sounds incredibly tough to read, but so very important. Can't wait to read this one. And then actually all the other books, apart from one, were books that I'd never heard of before, but just spoke to me and I did look them up on Goodreads um, a bit, but they just, I don't know, I felt very attracted to these books. The first one is called Betty and this is said to be a coming of age story filled with magic in language and plot, beautiful and devastating. Then we've got Cicely, wife, mother, politician, traitor, fighter, survivor. This one sounded really cool. It takes place in 1431. It says 1431 is a dangerous time for a woman to be defiant. Next, this is one I bought this together with Beth from Books Nest. We went book shopping and we both just wanted to get this. So it was like a buddy buy. <laughs> it is called Ghosted. It's a love story written by Jen Answorth. Piercingly human and darkly funny, a tender, beautifully controlled account of expectations knocked off course. Then the next one is Small Pleasures, which was actually on my wish list, so I knew of this book. It says an almost flawlessly written tale of genuine grown up romantic anguish. Then I also saw The Pursuit of Love, written by Nancy Mitford, and apparently this is very funny, and there's also a TV show of this. The girl at Waterstones behind the cash register, she was talking about how she loved the TV show and thought it was very funny, so now I'm even more excited to read this. Apparently it's just very funny and enjoyable. Then I got the book Boys Don't Cry. Let me see. They say boys don't cry, but Finn's seen his dad do it when he thinks no one's looking. So that's not true. And isn't it okay to be sad when bad things happen? They say boys don't cry, but you might. The last one I got myself is called Good Morning Midnight. I was just very, very intrigued by this cover. This is written by Jean Rees. And it says no one who reads Good Morning Midnight will ever forget it. Well, I'm curious if that will be the case. And then last but definitely not least is a book that I also got for my family. And it is a historical fiction called The Little Wartime Library, gripping, emotional and uplifting. It says that it's an inspiring tale of courage in the face of hardship. And I'm pretty sure that this takes place during World War II. I'm a bit shooketh by everything that is in front of me, but I just wanted to splurge. A little bit which is fine because i hadn't been on holiday in a very very long time especially to england and i just felt like doing a little bit of shopping as you could tell so that was it my entire england trip if you haven't seen my first vlog about bath definitely check it out i will leave it up there and also link it down below in the description i had an amazing very magical trip to bath oh my goodness bath is so gorgeous so i really hope you like these two videos if you did do please give it a thumbs up and if you want to comment something but you don't know what to comment comment the union jack flag because it's very british and i just had a very lovely british holiday again thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next video bye